So you may remember me saying that there was a family of porcupine that actually moved into this uh, hut. Like it was shortly after the storm. Um, so that's why the, the tarp has fallen on this. But this is actually a clip from my old phone that I decided to throw in here just to kind of show you what I was talking about before. So first things first, I probably want to uh, get a fire started because I want some coffee. So ooh, we'll work on that. Ooh, I'm basically just hitting it away. I'm not even shoveling it. I feel like this will be fine for now. Come on. Ooh. I did bring some uh, cheating wood just because the main purpose today is not to start a fire but rather to work on this. So I just brought some cheating wood from home that uh, maybe I'll try to split it a little bit just to give us a little bit more coverage. I don't know. Stubborn. I just need something small, so um, this will be fine. Get all the snow off of it. And it's all eaten up anyways. It's going. <laughs> That's all that matters. First things first, I gotta get all this cleared off. You know what? Actually, it's a bit warm. It's warmer than I thought it was gonna be. This back wall really needs some work. Got a lot of snow last night. Oh yeah, right on. There is better ways of doing this. I guess instead of trying to clear the snow for now inside of it, what I'll do is just press it all down. So we're gonna try to get some uh, um, logs going across. Ooh. Let's go. Okay, never mind. All right, so just to play it safe, I'm gonna get a little bit longer than I need because I can always cut it off. I'm gonna go there, something like, probably right about here. Oh, that looks really long actually. You know what, I'll go here. And you can see kind of what I mean. We got this one there, I got that one. We're gonna kind of make our way over, you know, to give it a bit of a roof. And then I guess we'll put something over top of it. There's another dead one. The top's actually fallen off of it. So uh, I guess we'll grab that one too.
We got about, eh. So it's about three axle lengths, roughly a little bit more. Just wanna get all this brush out of the way just so it's a little safer to swing around the ax. You know, actually I'm gonna bring it over just like this. I'm not even gonna cut it yet. And if I need to, I'll cut it over there. Oh, the snow's really deep there. Okay. So now what I gotta do is I gotta take this piece, cut up a bunch of little uh, small ones, make kind of like a riser for that. Yeah, that should be fine. I'll just, uh, I'll tie it just to be safe also. So we're kind of getting somewhere. Um, this part here is a little clunky. I'll want to like thatch that up really good just to be safe. But this is secure. I made a riser for it and then I'm going to tie it a bunch. So don't have to worry about that falling on anything. Um, I'm definitely going to want to cut this off because that's just a little bit too long. But better safe than sorry. But yeah, we're kind of getting somewhere. Look at that. Perfect. That's exactly what I want. Um, next week it should warm up a little bit and then go back down. Um, my hopes is that it kind of melts a little bit, um, solidifies it all together, and then, uh, yeah, it'll be, it'll be a good insulation. There, you can kind of see what I mean. It's all, uh, packed in here now. So eventually, I want to get more, um, more of that stuff and go in here too. But, uh, it's a lot better than it was, at least. I gotta fix this because the, the back wall collapsed a bit ago. That was during that uh, storm, I think. So, well, really, it's only like, I don't know, a foot and a half. It's honestly not so bad in here, really. Um, this is actually right up on the escarpment. You can't really see how steep it is on camera, but uh, it gets pretty steep, actually. <laughs> it's a little hard to traverse, but um, here we have some tracks. Something was messing around right here. There's actually uh, some waste product <laughs> right there. But and then again, we got all this uh, something chewing on the bark here. It's actually pretty fresh, this spot right here. It's gotta be porcupine. That's uh, it's pretty neat, actually. It's snowing right now, so all this fresh snow makes it a little harder to see, but that's very fresh. Definitely another good spot. There's so many, so many little caves in here. Like, uh, you can see all throughout this, there's like little caves. It's just so interesting. Something's actually been digging right here, oh my god. Oh yeah, that's really sweet. Oh my goodness. If you look at it, actually, that is all <laughs> droppings. This is the most active little den that I've seen so far, really. This is, this is all fresh in here. All of this digging, absolute droppings all over the place. A nice little cave in there. Man, this is awesome. That goes back pretty far, actually. I gotta keep an eye on this spot. Maybe I'll set up a, uh, a camera on a tripod here. See if we can spot anything. This is so amazing. There's actually a bunch of fresh stuff. Probably can't see it from here, but there's a bunch of fresh chew marks all over that tree, too. This will probably be the best bet, actually, to... Uh, spot some porcupine because that's all that's all porcupine droppings and something's digged to burn right there and or a burn a berm and there's fresh marks that go up here yeah this is awesome what a what a beautiful spot again this there's just tracks everywhere throughout here but you can see right in the center of the frame there's uh chew marks up in the tree too all of that and these prints also come down right here Make their way over here, and again, more uh, chew marks all over the side of that that little tree there. I guess it just makes you wonder. Oh, oh, nice. Hello. Anyways, <laughs> I guess uh, it just makes you wonder. Like, you come out here. And you look to see something, 
or you hope to see something. And uh, I mean, really, he could just be hiding somewhere up in a tree right now. And uh, it would be near impossible to see unless you're keeping your eyes up the entire time. But on the escarpment like this, you don't want to be keeping your eyes up. You want to be watching where you're going. He could be anywhere right around us right now because there's chew marks that go all the way up these trees. I'm probably not going to be able to get this because it's so dark right now up there, but you can see just two absolute chew marks all over the trees up there. There's probably been times that I've been out here and he's just been chilling in a tree, hiding, which is fine. I, I get that. I understand. You know, humans can be scary. But, uh, yeah, it just makes you, makes you think, eh?